there was this swordsmith who will make wonderful and very strong sword. And he, will, he was so well known around that people give him great respect for his skill. Yeah? And wherever he will go, people will praise him. People will tell him how wonderful is, uh, is uh, your workmanship. You know? So there was a king, and that king wanted to have a sword made in a very wonderful, you know, he had the idea to make the best of all, all the sword that ever exists. So he invited the swordsmith to his palace and he, he was so delighted to welcome him and he was so happy to welcome him. But uh, he said to the swordsmith, I will give you lots of gold, whatever you want, you know, just name it, I will pay you. So this simple swordsmith you know, said, first let me do my work. So he asked for the things to, to, to make his uh, work, to make the sword. And as he built the sword, the sword after some times, you know, when the sword was ready, the king came to receive the sword and looking at that workmanship itself, he was so impressed because this was unique in the whole world and there is none who can make a second one like this. And uh, the king started to praise the master who have teach the swordmanship, you know, and they start praising, said, oh, you must have a great master. Yeah, please tell me. Then the swordmanship said, the sword smith, uh, swordmanship, not the swordsmith, sorry. Swordsmith said, no, I learn it by my own skill. You see, my father was a swordsmith and I put in my mind that uh, when I was small, that will be also my work. And I will give the best, I will give me fully into that the skill of making sword. And so that was, uh, that's how I learned. I learned through books, through others, uh, sword smith, and uh, through their knowledge, you know. And whenever I will read a book, I will always go to the point where there is the word sword being mentioned. And if ever there is nothing concerning the sword into that book, I will not read about it. I will put it away. And this is how I became, I, I get to know, I have that knowledge about sword in itself. And this is how I learned to be a sword smith. So you see in the story, the end part of it is remind you that if you want to get better, you must know about your path itself. When you know about what your Acharya teach you, of course, then you can share it. And if ever you come into confrontation of that, then you know how to not defend yourself, what to answer to the people.